All right, so here I have side-by-side uh, -side graphs. Make sure that you know that this is the market graph. All right, so let's say this is wheat. All right, and this is Mac Farmer. Okay, and this is the individual firm. Okay, so <clears throat> we this sets the price, right? So in perfect competition, this sets the price. There's identical products. They're all sold at the identical price. The firm is a price taker, it's called, okay? Because they accept the price from the market, okay? And supply and demand shifts can take place here, all right? Uh, increase in demand for wheat or decrease in demand for wheat as people became gluten-free or something like that. We got our price. It sets our Mr. Darp right here, okay? All right, I set this up a little bit more challenging than I did in class. This 40, I can throw this away, that's our diminishing marginal return, all right? And this is my long run 10 and 100, that's my long run price and my long run quantity, all right? So I'm just gonna put in LR price and LR ATC long run average total cost is 10. 100 is my long run quantity. So that's not a part of my initial evaluation. Everything starts with MR equals MC, Mr. McProfit, right? This is the quantity of max profit, MR equals MC. everything starts here, all right? So my price I know is 20 in the short run, all right? And my average total cost, I just start, I have to get this right. If I get this wrong, everything else is gonna be wrong, all right? This is not where MR equals MC. This 180 is nothing, okay? Now don't say it's nothing because it's the last one because on the graph with the loss, it is the last one is something. Okay, so you can't just ignore the last one all the time. But I come up and boom, here's my average total cost. And that is 15, that's my ATC in the short run. Okay, and I'm creating again my rectangles. My price is 20, my quantity is 140, sorry for the lack of consistency in color. My total revenue in the short run is 20 times 140 is 2,800, okay? My average total cost is 15. Green doesn't show up too well, huh? My average total cost is 15 in the short run, okay, times uh, 140, is going to be 1700 or I'm sorry, it's going to be 2100 So 15 times 140 is 2100 My total revenue, 2800 My total cost, 2100 My profit, my economic profit, is going to equal 700 2800 minus 2100 which is consistent with this rectangular isthmus, the narrow strip of land here that represents our profit, I can verify I got 5 times 140 that should equal 700 and it does. Okay? Alright, so what's going to happen in the long run? There's profit to be made. Okay, people are attracted to the industry, so firms join. What happens when firms join? I gotta line this up correctly. The supply increases, and the supply is gonna keep increasing until the price comes down, all right, to this long run price, all right, our new Mr. Dark, which is at where MC equals ATC, all right? So 10, my long run price and my long run average total cost, and my long run quantity is 100. All right, so I really just have one rectangle in the long run. Boom, boom, boom. 
Total revenue equals total cost. And it's that rectangle, 10 times 100. Total revenue is 1,000 in the long run. Total cost is 1,000. And the profit equals zero. It's break even. And here's our long run Mr. Dart. If you see LR or SR, that's long run or short run. Okay. All right. Uh, if we start in equilibrium, okay, if that gets a little bit more complicated. I'm not really going to get too into that now, but this is something we might confront in the future. But the market price can change. Just ignoring profit and loss, let's just say we set up a Mr. Darp here. And again, ignoring cost. This is going to determine the price regardless. So let's say that there's natural disasters. There's tornadoes all through Iowa and Illinois that destroy all kinds of wheat farms, right? Well, supply would shift to the left, price would go up, right? All righty. Um, let's say people start eating gluten-free, okay? And they want cauliflower crust pizza. What's America coming to? Dog gone shame, I'm playing. But anyway, let's say people, no offense, if you're gluten free, I'm just joking, okay? Especially if there's a serious disease, celiac disease, where people have to eat gluten free. Something you should know. Um, but if people start eating gluten free, demand for wheat's gonna decrease in price here comes down, and the price for all the firms comes down, okay? The primary change that we talk about. So is, is the industry attractive? Yes. If so, supply increases, which is a rightward shift, and price comes down. Okay. All right. If it's an unattractive industry, if there's losses to be had, supply decreases and price goes up. All right. Remember, characteristics of perfect competition. You don't have to worry about the efficiency stuff. We'll talk about that later. Uh, many firms easy to join, easy to leave the industry. Uh, identical products sold at identical prices. The firm is a price taker. It takes the price from the market. Okay, when we get to monopoly, monopoly is a price maker. All right, and long run, always uh, break even. Long run equilibrium, total revenue equals total cost, price equals average total cost, etc. All right, those are the two YouTube videos for today. Uh, we will review in class uh, before the quiz. And, uh, you know, no surprises. I don't like to shock people. There's not going to be any elasticity stuff other than you have to know Mr. Darp is perfectly elastic to me. All right. Adios. Congratulations, girls volleyball. Yeah. I came for the very last, uh, you know, I was walking in as they scored the last point, so. Um, but it counts, and that doesn't matter, we won, right? So, good job.